All right, guys. What's up? Welcome to another episode of the whole last show. I'm Left Cheek, aka Dustin. I'm Right Cheek, aka Kevin. Between us, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. Some things is bullshit. It's customers. No matter how good your customer service is. Okay, so you just gonna jump. I'm just, I'm just gonna dive just right gonna into jump it. right into the bullshit. Just go right okay. into it. Okay. So you got people that you just cannot please. There's just there's no pleasing to them. There's no in the middle there's no in between it's all it's all bullshit so i had this one customer come in last week you ever seen uh and then eddie raul you ever seen that uh-huh all right so i mean like for anybody that has not seen oh raul i can show you a quick snippet if you need to see it which you know i can take care of that right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys. Let's see. Raul, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. All right. So this motherfucker coming to my business. My place of business. Looking like this right here. Let's give it just a second. Some, some issues right now. Some issues. Things want to be slow. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. There we go. Alright. So this guy right here. This this is Raul. I mean, you, you see this angry face? Alright. So anyways. This motherfucker come up in here. He's got this. And I've driven old cars. I still haven't. Well, actually, I sold my old cars. But I still have a car that's about 10 years old. You drive an older vehicle. We know that they take work. Yeah. But when this motherfucker come here, it sounded like some damn 1-800 Sony Network PlayStation customer support. Like, goddamn, I'm talking about reset your fucking modem to reset, reset your password. What did he sound like? Because I can't picture it in my head at this moment. All right, so he just come here, and this motherfucker said, he literally straight said, Hello, yes, I need to get my uh, 2003 Lexus. I need to get it fixed. I was like, what? What do you, I mean, how can I, how can I fix it for you? And then he busts out his cell phone. And he literally he's like, I already fixed my exhaust. It needed a flex pipe, so I bought some of these uh JB Well and and I and I, I pack it with both. And I'm like, man, motherfucker, I was like, no you didn't. Hold up, did you say JB Well? He JB Well did his flex pipe onto his exhaust. So then then <clears throat> we start talking, like what kind of issues are having? Oh you know, I had to I had to keep putting some power steering for it. Only in my car Hold the on. Over here. Hold on. And I'm like, God damn. Are you sure? Son. Are you sure it's Raul from Ed, Ed, and Eddie or Fez from that 70s I show? I mean, it's a mixture. Let's just say they had a baby because he had to come over and every goddamn thing. But this motherfucker literally said it. So he, he's wanting to fix his car. Keep in mind. Hey, look, hey, good day. Look, I, oh, goddamn. Yeah, good day. Hello, thank you for calling Sony Network PlayStation Support. Oh. I can help you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, God damn. So, oh my God. this motherfucker comes up in there, we get his car in, I start looking at it, start finding all these problems wrong with it, right? Now, keep in <laughs> mind, this is already somebody that, I mean, you got to give him credit where credit's due. I mean, the dude's like 18 years old. He's uh, on an internship here from Texas. And um, he has a set budget, which is great. Uh, especially at that age and especially to be an in internship in a college and stuff. Okay. And um he's like, you know, my car is making these funky noises, la da 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 da, la da 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 da. I'm like, all right, cool. You got your keys? So get his keys, pull it in here. Was he doing any dances <clears throat> when when no, when you he said just kept when you pushing said, the car on. over to the side? Was was he doing any dances when he said la di da di da la di da di da? Nah. Okay. And see, I it, thought that was like one of those things where like all of a sudden you heard, you know, this the the music and then like that's what he was doing. Okay. All right. Nah, never nah. mind. Carry on. The carry only on. thing I heard on. was Ed and Eddie. <laughs> okay. Then, okay. I don't know, Eddie. But anyways, <laughs> um. This motherfucker, we get the car back there, and like, not only is it making noise, not only is it making noises, let me tell you something. You put the car from parking to drive, and just barely go into gas. I'm gonna give you one guess what slaps the firewall. The goddamn motor. You wonder why he needed a flex pipe fixed? Because the motor the is out flexing the exhaust. Motor motor so then we start, I, I was like, all right, fuck it. We, we just went up. I can't deal with this guy too much. 
um it's not because of his accent or because of where he's from it's just because he's one of those kind of people you can't explain shit to so i got it down the road in it hey boy what do you think happens when you hit the brakes you hear a clunk and the car snatches to the right that bitch need little control arms literal control arms all right you got all the motor mounts are busted there's no rubber it's just literally bouncing off the frame of the mid mount you got control arms that are slinging around like you can see the tire move three to four inches front and back um <clears throat> neil say we tell him like hey man like i don't know what your budget is but you know you said you want to fix your power steering leak i said what about your transmission leak and your motor flopping around I was like, this bitch is literally jumping out the damn hood of your car like somebody just be strapped down in the medical bed. I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? I'm like, what? I was like, <laughs> I can't <believe. laughs> I can't So like, and I, 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 he said he just wants to fix power steering leak. So we take the car, we tell him like, look, if the car is worth it to you, it's worth it to us. I don't believe in fixing something that you shouldn't be putting your money into. It's okay. I don't care. I was like, all right, whatever. Go ahead, get the part. Uh, tell me what you know to fix the power steering leak. Hit that rack pin because it's pissing out both legs. High pressure hose, also the reservoir hose that goes back from the gear up to the reservoir. All right, all that had to be replaced. So replace it. He only said he wanted the leak fix, right? Get the car fixed. No more leak. Alignment, you know, can't do the alignment because it needs control box. All right. You don't need doing alignment if your motor mounts are just busted. They ain't even there no more. We fix this more for a car. He come back. Oh, do you know I'm happy? No battery steering fluid anywhere. But what is this noise I hear? I was like, what? What noise? You know, I I know mechanic. You you know you know car. Then you start pulling YouTube. You only hear it. You know when you hear it? When you're accelerating. Guess where it's coming from? The center vent of his dash. But this motherfucker get mad as hell. I I just, you know, all you had to do was call me. Call me. That's all you could call me. I was like, motherfucker. I, was, I kept trying to explain this stuff to him, explain it and explain it, explain it. And he just keeps wanting to hand me YouTube. 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 I was like, alright, I can't talk to you anymore. No I can't. Just walk up back with me. But I just need to show you the picture on my phone. No, I don't want to see the picture on your phone. You don't listen. You're making it hard. How are you in college? And you might be a surgeon, but you can't even understand fucking English. I was like, I'm going to take you out back. We're not going to talk. I'm going to point, and I'm going to show you what it does. So I go back there. I show him the damn motor flopping. You know, like damn things having a seizure. This bitch said, yeah, buddy, I'm looking for noisy feet. I was like, God <laughs> damn. I was like, man, you're talking about a noisy event. I said, what about your life? I, I know I understand. I know I understand. We know good. And uh, I just, well, I just got aggravated. How lots how old was this car? Um a 2003 Lexus ES300. Uh Good car. Good car. No problem. Just fix the leak. Like I mean, come on, bro. Like you hit a fucking brakes on that bitch. I'm not talking about slam them. I'm talking about, like just slow down and it would literally and it would start pulling to the rock. But you know, you don't care. And so just diving into that if you're not a mechanic don't pretend to be one if you want to go to a place where someone's expertise is mechanic uh selling something or you think all mechanics are crooks or you think auto automotive shops are crooks well then fucking figure out how to fix your own shit i don't think you should ever ever in your life go somewhere where you know nothing of and try to tell them how to do it because the most interesting like, it's, the most interesting thing it's okay it's okay to do research beforehand so you know you don't possibly get taken advantage of that's fine but yes. when you but when you start acting like you know better then you might as well get your hands dirty yourself i get what you're saying <laughs> but but it's more than that though it's for me it's more than that only because of like he was mad about the the noise he said the noise was never there before how did he explain the noise? Did he explain the noise to you? Ooh. That's all he said. Like a ghost? No, nah, like a fucking Furby from 1999. Like, like he had Ric Flair. Woo! Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty ah, much. Gotcha. So okay, the, but the thing he for said me he had is, a Ric Flair going. I mean, he didn't have it going on, but he had that raw wig going. Gotcha. And uh, okay, is is like the raw? Is that like the, like a an Indian trunk here? I don't know. 
Oh shit. You seen the damn Trump picture? I seen it. But I don't know. But not for real. So like, no bullshit. The thing that pisses me off and aggravates me is he was mad because he's making a noise. We told him all the issues he had at hand. He only wanted to leak fixed. And now he's complaining about a noise. We drove the car before we worked on it. If you if you take a shit sandwich and you add mustard and cheese, it's still a shit sandwich, right? You take that damn dog turd and you frost it. It might look like some damn shit of a bakery, but it's still a frosted dog turd, right? They need to take the shit somewhere else. I can't help you. I mean, you deal with the same shit at your work. Kind of. I, I deal mm. with with dumb shit like but for me for me it's a little different though i don't, I don't I, think it's that different i mean i i deal with new cars but rub it in i mean i uh, <laughs> rub it in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no 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 let me let me explain dude it, it's not the new cars that i deal with it's the people uh getting rid of the new cars <laughs> that i have to deal with <laughs> okay and it's one of those where, like, I recently heard that I wasn't well-liked, right? And I was, my reaction was. Great. Hell thank, yeah. Thank you for I mean, me. I don't have to be liked. <clears throat> I have a job to do. I, my job isn't to be liked. My job is to, you know, do, do what I do, right? Yeah. So, you Just know, do do. my response was, don't bring me dumbassery. And you will get treated like a dumbass. Yes. Yeah, That's the thing. Stupid. Yeah. You know, their thing was like, oh, you know, he he talks stupid. Like he, he talks to you like you're stupid. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not talking to you like you're stupid. I'm but if you're stupid, you but if you're stupid, I'm going to bring it down to your level so that you can understand it so that you walk away feeling accomplished. You know, like our interaction was a success message got right <laughs> my job is simple right we're, we're one of those kind of things like you've got mail you know like my job is pretty simple you know like it's just you know you come to me if you need something you know i i get stuff ready for you and then boom you're out you know it's <laughs> it's really simple my my attitude and how our interaction ends up being has nothing to do with the work you know, like i said i'm not there to be liked i I could give a shit. That's how I've always been. I mean, I, I don't really do care. I don't really care to be like, yeah, like I'm I'm here to do my job. But if you bring me dumbassery, you're going to get treated like a dumbass. Yeah. You know, it's it's simple physics. I know it's not physics. Well, see, you're I know it's not physics. OK, so don't get on there and try to like, you know, quantify. <laughs> All right, dumbassery versus being a dumbass. <laughs> OK, it's not physics. All right, it's a joke. OK, well, yeah, but it's, it's simple. Yeah, it's just simple. Like, don't, don't bring me dumbassery again, and you won't get treated like a dumbass. It's simple. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, my job's not like yours. You know, like you have to deal with stupidity. Right. Right. My job's a little bit, you know, simpler, but it also comes with its own share of dumbassery. Yeah, I know. I get it. I mean, I even had this one stupid fuck, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but like, I even had this one stupid fuck. You come up in this bitch with a hey uh you back there on the bed what year is in crown vix that they like to put sixes on okay all right so from... yeah there we go 96 to 2000 model crown vic right listen he wants his alignment fixed i put it up on the alignment rack above my head I look up underneath, you know what I see? You know what a torque box is? You know, like a solid rear end, axle rear end where it's welded to the frame? It won't dare. The driver rear wheel is literally like, if these are how the wheels should be sitting, like if you're looking at it from an angle like this, driver side wheel was this one. Like he's literally towards the back bumper. So I, I watered there, I was like, yo, sir, um, have you wrecked this car? Oh, no goddamn car. I ain't wrecked. 
Are you sure you hold have up, hold up. So you're telling me that at your job you met Raul from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh, fuck. Here we and go. And now you met Yosemite Sam? No, this dude was drunk. <laughs> he was drunk. This motherfucker was drunk as a skunk. He said, no, I didn't wreck my car. So I go out there and I take him up on the car. I'm like, look, are you sure you ain't wrecked this car? I was like, because that exhaust is bent into the bottom of the car. <laughs> I was you, like, the axle Why'd was you twisted. make him sound like Yosemite Sam? Like, Give me what a second. What it sounds like? I mean, when they're drunk and they got the damn 40-year-old smoker cough. I mean, God damn. I mean, like, literally, like, for me to you, he is, his breath literally smell like CBD. Like cigarette booties and donuts. Like an stripper from a hot Saturday night party <laughs> in your face. Yeah. So... <laughs> like no bullshit so he sat there and he, i told him but like the rear is literally like twisted oh yeah yeah you just you lined up Come on. sir just get out of the way i was like sign this paper you understand that the rear end is twisted a lot of die a lot of die do the alignment signs on the paperwork i understand all the issues with my vehicle blah blah blah, blah. this motherfucker calls back starts cussing me out I'm driving to the goddamn road and I turn my wheel and I can't, I ain't got to turn my wheel. This snatched me to the fucking wall. I'm about to run off the bridge right up here. Sir, it's like you realize your goddamn Max was Swiss. Well, dangerous talking to me like that. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to. You're literally calling and cussing and hollering at me on the phone right now because your shit's twisting. So he come back when he's showing his ass. You know how he fixed his issue? Hot the steering wheel and align the vehicle. Because that's what he wanted. You know, he tried to contact corporate. And we fucked up the rear end of his car. By twisting three little nuts on the front end. With two nuts in the tire. Wow. Yeah, I got to deal with that. I know. Okay. I know. I deal with new cars. How did tent life though? But I still have to deal with people. How did tent life? Huh? What, what, what you do when you get trash in the window? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> For those of y'all that don't know, I got we got someone that might be a special guest at one point in time for a, a quote unquote. What would that be? An interview? I guess. I don't know. Like what would little, that be? Like considered? a little QA? Would it be considered a QA? Huh? Cussing. Huh? Oh yeah. So yeah. might might be a future QA endeavor. Um that's who we're asking. We're not gonna tell you who it is because some of the people that's on our Facebook page might know who this is. Actually quite a few of them in the area. I mean, I ain't trying to be funny and throw no shade nowhere, but I'm just trying to say, you know, all limos had that dark glass. No shades on. No shades on. <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna cut that there. I think I think we got enough on, enough off my chest, off that that shitty plate buffet that I had to go to for five fucking days. I mean. You no, know, I think I think I'm gonna say one more thing. Go ahead. Do you, you already do you, met, deal, do you deal with people that come in? You into already late? met Raul and Yosemite yeah. Sam. So who you got next? Who do I got next? Go ahead. Who go I got ahead. Next? Go ahead. Go ahead. I got I got Turbo. Okay. Go ahead. Without the Turbo. Okay. Go ahead. He knows everything. He speaks on everything. He can do any and everything, but he can't do nothing. What do you do with people that always want to show up late? Always want to show up late. Always. I don't know. I show up late myself. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I, this goddamn video. I don't have a set time. I, I don't have a set time. Would that be, oh, uh, well, well, that's different. Yeah, you I don't know, have a I'm, set time. I'm different. All like, right, all right, all right. I'm I'm not gonna reference the song. I'm know, different. Yeah, I'm different. I don't have a set time. I just you know, of course, you know, I I don't abuse it. I don't. I don't abuse it, but like I don't yeah, have see, to be there at a certain time, and I don't have to like. But if you had a job and you had to be there at a certain time, wouldn't you usually be like fifteen minutes early, roughly? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this: ten to fifteen, yeah. If you were my boss, and I was wanting a raise, you were my boss. I'm wanting a raise. 
Do you think it'd be okay for me to ask for an extra 50 cent to a dollar an hour if the only thing I'm doing is putting out what I'm getting paid out right now an hour? No. Thank you. No. All right. Now, I, what if you got someone that shows up 30 minutes before you open and is there with you to open? They aren't slow, but they're not fast. They have a, they have a set pace. It's always at set pace. Okay. Would you feel more comfortable giving that one a raise? I mean, depending on... dependable. Yeah, depending on the kind of work they put out. Yeah, exactly. If they if, exactly. If they put out good work, even at their pace, then yeah, that's that's cool. They they get in a raise. So so the the make that short. Because you want to keep you want to keep that person. Yeah, they. I mean, they ain't got to be the fastest. Just keep a pace. Right. Don't get slower. Keep a pace. Do the right shit, and you know. Do you know what that says? If you want to raise, you need to be a salesman and sell yourself. Be like, hey, you know, I I'm pumping out fifty dollars an hour. I'm only gonna pay like 13, 14. You know, you think I could get a little, little help compared to the person that's sitting there pumping out $14 an hour, making $14 an hour and expecting a raise because you're too afraid to do $21 an hour. If there's no benefit in me paying you more, plain and simple. Have a good one. See y'all next time.